Hello there. God wants to introduce you to new beginnings in your life. God has fresh things for you. I just sense that it's like a spring season for you right now where new growth is going to come up and new blooms on the tree, which will bring forth new fruit for you in your life. You know, if you look at a, a natural tree, it, it responds to seasons. So in the spring, you have the new bloom, which then comes into the summer season where there's fruit born. And then the fruit is harvested, usually around the fall or the late summer. And then it goes into rest over the winter. You know, the fall comes into its, its, its harvest season. And then the winter, where everything goes into rest so that it can come up in new life again. Now, the next year, when that tree blooms again, you're not remembering the old season. You're looking forward to the new. And for some of you watching this video right now, you have to let go of some of the past. You can't live inside the past. You can either rejoice in the good things of the past or you can, you know, learn from the failures of the past. But one thing you need to do is move on because this is a brand new beginning for you. And I would even suggest building an altar, maybe even getting a, a stone of remembrance and put on it maybe some of the, the good things of the past and bring it before the Lord and say, Lord, this is my Thanksgiving stone for everything that took place um, in the past, even, even the, the hard things and the good things I, I put inside there and I give this as a stone of remembrance, thanking you, but I'm leaving it on the altar. Bless everything about the past. Bless it. But I'm leaving it on the altar. And now I wait on you for what is new. Now, I have a scripture. It says out of uh, Philippians 2, 13 and 14. And um, for uh, many of you, maybe you don't know the context of this scripture, but it was the apostle Paul who was pressing on to more of Jesus. And he said, I'm just going to leave the past behind and press on towards that upward calling as good as the past might have been or whatever I accomplished in the past. I'm pressing on. And the Lord says to you right now, press on. There's so much more for you. And some of you will be glad to leave the past behind because it's been a hard season. And that's good. Put the blood on it. Leave that stone on the altar and move forward as of today. In fact, you might want to even take communion after you finish this session of video and say, Lord, this is my marking of a brand new season. Maybe you want to get a second rock and write on it, new season, pour oil all over it and speak the blessing of God over it. But anyways, in Philippians 2.13, it says, Brethren, I do not regard myself as having laid hold of it yet, but one thing I do forgetting what lies behind and reaching forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. And I want to ask you to do something today as you seal up the old season and look forward to the new, press on to the new, leaving the past behind, looking forward to the new blossoms, maybe getting your old stone on the altar and leaving it there with God and putting a new one, inviting him to come with fire and blessing upon it, that you would receive from the Lord specific promises for your life as you move forward and then decree those promises into place. If you don't have a, a, um, a, uh, a decree book yet, order one online on our online bookstore. You know, you can get the digital format. Just, just get the download of it into your, your computer right now or order a hard copy. But start decreeing those decrees. Pray it forward. Pray into your tomorrow. Decree into your tomorrow the blessing of God because then as you walk forward, you'll walk right into those blessings. Get those specific promises from God that you can live by and decree them every day. Put them everywhere so that you can see them so that you can walk right into the blessing. Leave the past behind. Do not call to mind the former things or ponder the things of the past, for the Lord says, Behold, I make all things new. Enjoy an awesome, awesome tomorrow. Now, some of you, you might want to really put some investment into this and learn from your past failures and Get some skills that you need for, for personal growth and development and go on to your next season. We have so many life coaching courses available for you right now that will bring great encouragement to you. We have, for example, 
10 Keys to Success that is so powerful. And we even have the little booklet that you can order uh, separately. But we have the whole course with outlines of things that you can work on. We have the making of a champion, which shows you how to overcome every problem in life. And in our Premium Plus subscription for xpmedia.com, we even have available for you these life coaching tips that come to you every month and a whole archive of life coaching uh, videos and audios and articles that you can have for, for, for pennies per day. It's just awesome investing into your life because you are worth it. And we have personal life coaching appointments that you can have to help with specific things in your life where, where, where we can coach you into accelerated growth. Coaching is a gift that you give to yourself. For more information on that um, and, and life, live coaching courses that we have available here for a whole day course that you can come into and imbibe from nine in the morning to six at night where we pour into your life and give you tools that you can grow by. Go to patriciakinglifecoach.com. God bless you. Remember this, that God loves you with an everlasting love. He really, really does.